This is another response to Son is the Father of Man. Uh, in his last video, he answered some questions, sort of, by an atheist. Uh, the one that really stuck out the most, they all kind of stuck out, as his answers usually do in my mind, but the one that really uh, did it the most for me was the last one, where uh, the question was, if your God wasn't real, would you want to know? Or you know, if his God could be proven to be not real, would he want to know? And his answer basically was that he wouldn't consider any evidence against the existence of his God, and that he would believe even if it was proven to be false. Which I think is the answer that uh, the atheist he was answering was looking for. Basically, it's an admission that his faith is totally irrational and that he's not looking for the truth. He would rather live in a fantasy world, as I said on his, uh, as I posted in the, the comments, than actually know the truth. Of course, he says he seeks the truth so that you might consider his religion to be potentially the truth. Because, oh, if it's if it's subscribed to by a seeker of the truth, then maybe it is the truth. But uh, if it can't be proven, how do you know it's the truth? And of course, if he asks him as the father of man, he will say faith, or he doesn't know, which are pretty much the same answer. And in a roundabout way, He's admitting that he knows that it's not the truth. Nobody who would hold on to a belief, despite all evidence to the contrary, cares what the truth is. They hold their beliefs based on a desire for them to be true. It has nothing to do with reality. I guess I'll go ahead and uh, address some of the other things that he said. He said that there is a lot of, uh, I'm doing air quotes here for a lot, a lot of evidence for the existence of Jesus. And he talked about some of the more well-known and uh, often debunked sources of uh, extra-biblical accounts of Jesus. Now, at best, this proves that a guy named Jesus, who was a rabbi and a teacher and stuff, existed. It doesn't mean anything about uh, Jesus being the son of a god. And to use their, their texts as evidence for his religion but then ignore the fact that they don't believe that Jesus was the Messiah is kind of um, something. It's, I suppose you could call it cherry picking. You know, okay, this part of it uh, supports my beliefs, but uh, this other part doesn't, so let's only look at the part that does. Jesus existed, and therefore, he is the Son of God, and everything in the Bible is true. It doesn't work that way. Just because someone existed doesn't mean that he is everything, history, or one single book, I should say, uh, says that he was. I want the future.